Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. Hey, look. Ha. That's for the guy that be putting them uh, thumbs down comments. Or gal. So, uh, good news. My lips and my nose is healing up very well. See? From that grill incident. I'm on Team God, so I'm indestructible. <laughs> anyway, it goes. It goes. Ouch. This thing gonna hold, man. Hey, here you go. There's an update on our garden. Let's see, those are habanero peppers. These are our blonde bell peppers. We got some red bell pepper, purple bell pepper. I think an orange bell pepper, a regular bell pepper. These are early girl hybrid tomatoes. These are the Park Whopper Evolve tomatoes these are gonna be the sugar i think sun sugars are actually supposed to be like really really sweet and this is the purple kale yeah 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 and those are sweet heat peppers they are already coming and this is this is this is this is this is this this is the better bush. So I actually got to go back and get me some Goliath water, uh, not watermelons, but tomatoes. Come on, Uncle Danny think that, like for some reason, my family think that they are like super, super duper, super duper farmers. And I love the challenge. I really do love the challenge. I should about to start scratching that booty. Water. I gotta put some coconut oil on her. She is so allerg allergic to everything. Look at this. She's gonna put a hole in my ground. Wait, she's spinning around. All right, so I was gonna use this bed. I'm gonna use this bed instead. Cause I actually cheated. I actually gotta be on the road like right now and be at work. Forgive me, Jamal, but my dogs got out. Had a family emergency. Um, yeah. Didn't really get to sleep good last night. So, y'all want to see it? Here it goes. Let me get this right. Take my hope. Get that down. Up all them dead roots, I mean, all them roots and weeds. You really want to do this before you plant, but I've been busy and instead of neglecting my plants and letting them pay the price, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the ground. So, uh -oh. evidently. Get a little too rough here. Sorry about that. Put you in the middle so y'all can see a little better. All right, good morning again. Good morning again. Don't be afraid to tell somebody you love them. Tell them you love them right now. If it's on your mind. All them little high school sweethearts and stuff, all that puppy love, all them people that turn their back on you, that you told you love them, they turn their back on you, they stabbed you in your back, and they showed you their true colors. They showed you that they wasn't worth your love. So on that note, I want you to think about everybody that you do know is worth your love and tell them you love them. Whether it's a, somebody you just met, they just give you a cool feeling. It don't cost nothing to tell somebody you love them. Because tomorrow I ain't promising you never know what might happen. So before it happens, go ahead and get it off your chest and let them know you love them.
a lot of teachers out there, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all a million dollar secret. You really wanna know how to break through to these kids? Just tell them you love them. Show them you love them. You can't just say you love them and you don't really love them. Y'all gotta love these kids, man. You gotta love these kids. Think about how hard it was for you to learn from that teacher that you couldn't stand. That one teacher that got on your last everlasting nerve that you hated, you couldn't learn nothing from that teacher. But then that one teacher that was cool, that, that encouraged you, that loved on you, that gave you that, that good home, back home loving, that was that teacher you could relate to. You love that teacher. That teacher love you. So, in other words, tell them you love them. We're living in a world that's very unloving right now. And we need to up the love meter. The love meter's down here. It need to be way up there. So let's work on loving each other this week, y'all. Just look somebody in their eyes and say, I love you. You ain't got to know them that good. I'm just trying to tell you. You'd be surprised. If it, when it comes from the heart, it comes from the heart. Some people need that. It don't cost you a thing. That person could be having the worst day of their life right now. And you telling them you love them, just gave them 10 more years or a reason to live. You never know. Get this out of the way. So we got some squash, some squashes. That's a straight neck squash. This is uh, gonna be an eggplant. And see how they're, they're kind of withering away. I've been watering them every day, but essentially, if you ain't got enough room to grow, you ain't gonna grow. That's why I love planting. It teaches you a lot about life. A lot of y'all ain't flourishing the way you you feel like you're supposed to flourish because you you still in that box. That little too small cubicle you sitting in, that ain't enough room for you to grow. That little cubicle is about like this. That little bitty ISS classroom you keep getting sent to about like this. You need to get out there into the to the to the uh dang on to the big classroom. You need to get out there to a bigger, better job. You need to create a bigger, better job such as this so your roots can have a place to get planted and flourish because they can't grow in this cup forgive me if i'm all over the place i'm a little pressed with time so therefore my my thinker my thinker is thinking at over over capacity folks I'm gonna put all my squash. I want my squash on the top side or the bottom side. I actually put my squash down here. We're gonna get more water down here.
Okay, I see what happened, folks. There's a little confusion because all of them over there were squashed. So hold on, let me plant. Go ahead and get my planting on. Sorry about them beagles. You just go ahead to hear them. I wish I could set this up on that truck somehow, but that ain't gonna work. Go to work. That ain't gonna work either. All right, we press for time. I'm gonna take it, see how them, can you see it? See how them roots is coming out the bottom there? They should have been planted. That's what I mean about not having enough space to grow. These roots are trying to go down and essentially a plant will gather everything it needs. Once it gets rooted in the dirt, it'll get everything it needs to survive but if it never has enough room to grow how can it ever get everything it needs to survive take my tags out straight next gonna be down here at the bottom this is about to be a full out squash bed Everything over here is gonna be squash. Cause we love squash. And I got some, I got some extra loving to get these girls. Cause they've been neglected for so long. All right, got the first two in there. See how this over here, oh, let's, let's go with some funky stuff. Get that out of the way. So basically, they're gonna straighten up this way so the sun that they was getting was coming from that way. So if you didn't know, plants gravitate to the sun. The sun is the number one energy source in the world. So these plants are actually gonna turn and face the sun in a little bit. All righty. Put some coconut oil on you, Faith. What is this, uh, zucchini? I wanna put my zucchinis up here. I think I only got one zucchini. That's a straight neck. I wonder what happens if you put a crook neck, a crook neck squash straight beside a, a straight neck squash. Does the straight neck squash become crooked or does the crooked neck squash become straight? I don't know. Might have gave that too much room. Never too much room though. You can never give a plant too much room to grow. You can give it not enough, but I don't ever believe you can give a plant too much room to grow. Actually, I take that back. I take that back. It's a lot of vines and um, plants, evasive species of plants that can have too much room to grow. Huh. Got a straight necks, crook necks. Aw, oh, snaps. What in the hell of barbers did I just do? Okay, I got my two zucchinis right here. This is a crook neck. That's straight. That's straight. So I'm about to have a... Dang. Guess I'm about to put this crook neck in the middle. My mom will be picking on me because I use my hands. What I do with it? I always keep it with your name tags, or you'll forget what you're planting. 
like me, I always forget. So what I'm gonna do is plant the zucchinis up here on the top. Plant this little squash right here. What else I got over there? Change of plans, folks. So I'm actually gonna put these cucumbers at the top so I can put a trellis up here. I'm gonna deal with that trellis. Forget my dogs. So once again, there's another example of the roots. Yeah, see them roots coming out of there? You need to give yourself space and room to grow. How can you ever be that entrepreneur that you know deep down in your soul, God bless you to become if you don't give yourself space to grow? Energy, folks, energy. This plant will spend so much time focused on where to find its roots and how to get its roots in the ground that it'll completely stop growing on the top because all this energy is focused on going down. But once you get rooted, God will take care of the rest. And don't be ashamed to ask God to help you get to a place where you can be rooted. <clears throat> Say, God, is this place for me? If it ain't, let me know. God, do you have a better place for me? Let me know, God. Here, answer your questions. Just don't answer your own questions. If you're gonna talk to God, ask God questions, be willing to listen. Let's see here. Got crook neck. I'm gonna end up planting everything up here, period. Because, like I said, I don't want my plants to pay for my negligence. That's not fair. Not fair to the plants at all. Not fair to the plants at all. Plant didn't actually be here. But instead of go buying you some Jordans this year for summer, instead of buying you some shoes this year, kids, go buy you some plants. Cause y'all see that you won't even in school this year. You spent all that money this year last summer to be cool and in school to have the best outfit and then what y'all do y'all got stuck virtual learning so spend your money on some plants this is a great way to be able to put food on the table feed your grandmas your granddaddies i promise you if y'all don't know look at them roots Ooh, that's beautiful right there if y'all don't know what to give y'all grandma and granddaddy this year you just don't know how to make them happy. Go plant some. Watch how that change their whole perspective. And even take them out there in the garden with you. That'll really change up some things. This is this is therapeutic for me. I don't necessarily plant to eat all the time. I, I, I give away a lot of it. And I get that from my grandfathers. My grandfathers were big time gardeners. And they gave away the majority of their produce and they just believed that that was one of their callings. Like that was just their gift. God gave them a gift to give away. So that's what they did. They was able to feed people with salad, corn, tomatoes, zucchini, squash. So over the years, I kind of picked up that same thing. I plant a lot of vegetables just to give them away. To the elderly, it don't even have to be the elderly. It could be simply the less fortunate. <clears throat> Just giving somebody some fresh produce that's not genetically modified can change their whole life because you are what you eat. If you eat a bunch of medicine, then you think, therefore, it's okay to take a bunch of medicine, i.e. the vaccination. So if you take a bunch of vaccinations... Well, you eat a bunch of vaccinations. You think it's okay to take a vaccination. 
Well, really, have you ever seen any wild animals out here being vaccinated? I ain't never seen a doctor in a while. But anyway, let me not get too carried away. Because I got this pepper plant right here that is not about to get planted in here. I will not plant this pepper plant here. I actually have a whole thing of squash that needed to have been planted like three years ago. So I'm just gonna dig a, a gigantic hole and put all these suckers right here in one big old hole. Watch me. And if they die, they just die. But they're not going to die because once they get this good old loving, it's going to change the whole narrative. They're going to bounce back. Oh, yeah, I get to show y'all what it's like to be completely dying in the place that you're at. And when you move to a bigger and better place, to a place of God, uh, the, the next level in your life that God wants you to go, because it's okay. I know it, it, it don't make sense right now. You're like, but I prayed for this spot. I thought God, this is what God wanted me to be. God did want you to be there, but now your, your time, your mission, your goal has been accomplished. It's time to move on to bigger and better things. So therefore, I'm about to show y'all in the plant world what it's like to move on to bigger and better things. out this is gonna be crazy once they take off watch oh, let me show y'all all right so this is all the the dying squash that was dying around all that life that's the beautiful squashes and zucchini seeds See, whatever didn't take, I just throw them in the bottom. Don't fill, fill it back up a little bit because these ain't as deep as I thought they were. I'll lay them out like that. Put a little bit more dirt down in there. I actually want to put you over here. I'm going to put you over here. I ain't gonna suffocate y'all like that. Put y'all on top of each other. I did say I'm gonna give you room to grow, didn't I? Uh-oh. Running out of dirt. It's kinda hard to do with two hands. One hand, I should say. Where's Zoe when you need her? Okay, I just need a little bit of dirt to help him stand up. I'm gonna come back with some more dirt. Fill it in. All right. All right, there we have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Puny squash right there in the middle, the divider. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this uh, stuff, what's it called? Star green, all purpose plant food. It feeds up to six months, continuous feeding. 
and which is ideal for indoor plants, flower garden, shrub, and trees, and is guaranteed not to burn. Now that's what you really want to look for right there. A lot of people can't guarantee their stuff not to burn. And what I mean burn is it'll burn your plants up, it'll be so strong, so much nitrogen or whatever chemical they have in it. Burn your plants up. You put that stuff on your plants and you be like, yeah, that's gonna look good. Well, I'm sorry, I'm shaking y'all up. You come back an hour later, your plants be burned all the hell. Put a lot over here with y'all. Y'all need it. I'll put a little miracle grow on here later. But whatever this stuff is about, the only thing I'm gonna use on these two beds. And the reason why I'm putting a lot is because this is some real arid soil. Like it's really dry and sandy. Like it's really just like black sand. So I'm putting a lot. And my strawberry plants need to be planted. But here we have some peach, daddy peach, plant pleaser, pot, pot and soil, organic. Ingredients, aged pine bark. So they got peach, cow manure, perlite, dolomitic lime, dolomitic lime. See, I taught y'all how to read at the Bolo, at the Bolo Show. Dolomitic. Dolomite lime. Gypsum. That's how country folks do. They they know. They say that right there. Dolomite. Dolomite lime. Yep, that's what that be called right there. Mm-hmm. Peach potting mix is a combination of premium lime, gypsum, manure, perlite, all that stuff I just mentioned. It's an organic mix that Provides excellent compaction, rich in nitrogen, phosphate, postage, and calcium. It can be used for um, home plants, indoors and outdoors. This mix works great for repotting plants, for establishing a permanent soil for your new plants, or for the use with any container garden. See, I don't know if y'all remember, but look at them plants. They are already starting to turn. Turn towards the sun. The sun is this way. Ain't that beautiful? But being that I can't... One more time, I have to turn you around. Get that out your face. Hopefully y'all can see me. Right. This dang gone hole, man. I gotta get me a hole holder. Gonna break my leg. spread it out perlite and dolomite so what you want to do is just slightly cover up the base of the plant get anything that you did cover with dirt you want to uncover it bring it back to life you don't want to leave it covered with the dirt Ooh, this gonna look pretty pretty darn good when i get done just gonna leave the one back i don't know why but i don't really like filling it up now i like to re what is it i like to move my soil around 
kind of get up under there, aerate it sometimes, hand aerate it, just, just kind of move it around, man. I like to move my dirt around so I'll never fill up my beds right off the back. Give me some room to grow. Ain't there something? Oh, yeah, these puppies need some water. ASAP. That's the other thing. They weren't even able to get enough water in that small pot. Like, you could get enough water in there, but they couldn't even hold enough water. That by, by the time everybody got done drinking, that water done sucked through the bottom. Might need a little bit more on there. No, not really. Just for you ain't gonna need no more. You just take some of that dirt you put over yarn and move it. You just move it. Oh. I thought I seen an eggplant somewhere. I might not have planted it. I know what I was gonna say. I give it some air around the roots. Cause roots like loose soil. They don't like real thick, compacted soil. Roots like loose soil. So they can maneuver around and do what they gotta do. Oh man, I broke my leg. And that's what the finishing product looks like. I'm gonna go water these puppies. Take and put me a little sevens dust down. Sevens granule. I haven't put none down over here yet. Fast plant. I think this is the egg plant. Sorry, little egg plant. You're gonna have to get planted tomorrow. Along with whatever else was in here. Eggplant, baby beets. Look at them beets. They rooted. They're trying their best to grow. Still got this bed, that bed to work on. If y'all want to see how we built these beds, just scroll further back down the videos. You can actually see how we built these beds as well out of pallets. Ouch. We have all that posted on our channel from last summer, so don't feel like you're missing out. Oh man, don't tell me I wasn't recording this whole time. Anyway, just in case. Oh man, I don't even know if I was recording the whole time. So anytime you plant stuff, you water it. I don't even remember what I was getting ready to say or what I already said. Yes, I do. These are baby beets. Those are baby beets. I was saying that. The baby beets. Eggplant and some type of pepper needs to be planted. Well, yeah. Um, this is our 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 bed. I gotta add some more dirt to it. Show y'all how we built those beds. Don't feel like you got left out. We planted out. We did all that last year. And this is just reaping what you sow. It don't all come together in one year. Best believe that. Sometimes you're just learning for the years to come. So 
but sometimes you essentially learn how not to do things. So I used to tell kids all the time at my first job, y'all gonna learn a whole lot of how not to. Oi! 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 Y'all quit that face barking. If you wanna see how we built these beds, just go look. On YouTube, oh, there go Biscuit. Biscuit said he's tired of them little barking ass dogs. Give them a whole lot of water here. So they need it. Like, you also have to be cognizant and aware of your surroundings, like where you stay at. You can't plant stuff the same way your cousin up north plants stuff or the way your cousin down south plants stuff because the area, the temperatures, the humidity, everything is different. Like, it's really, really different. Oh, yeah, I'm loving that. The way that water's sitting on top of that daddy peach. Oh, yeah, I'm loving that right there. This is going to jump out of the gym. I need to put some daddy peach on this. Sorry, y'all got to see. I'm going to clean my garden up. I ain't been out here as much as I'm supposed to be because I'm chasing a dream right now. Remember, folks, you got to have that balance, though. You got to have that balance. If you're going to chase your dream, you got to be able to fund your dream. God will make a way. But you got to have that attention. You got to give him your attention, your full attention. monstrosity over there. That was a chicken pen, flower bed, garden, chicken run, plant ban uh, bonanza last summer until the neighbor dog got in it. Ate up all them chickens. Gotta have you some flowers around here too, folks. Make sure you keep some flowers around your plant. Get them pollinated. Ain't worth a dang on, dang on if they don't never pollinate. I got some strawberry plants. Well, that first frost did not do. That's all that was left off that first frost. That and them little bit of wheat squash. But you know if they survived it, them gonna be some thrivers right there. That's gonna be some of the best producing plants in the garden. So they survived that first frost. Yeah, yeah, but if y'all like this type of stuff, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, because we got a whole lot of hard working, handy things coming up this summer. Y'all see that? That's a working man's hand. And just to let you know, I don't be jacking off too much. They about well balanced. I don't like lotion. Be, be safe, stay safe. If you watching this, remember you blessed. And we, we just want to take a moment, give a moment of silence to the Austin family. Uh, lost a very dear friend to me, Luan, um, my best friend's brother. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for um, hearing me. Please accept the wine with open arms. 
into your kingdom, to the pearly gates, and give us everything we need to take care of his mama and his son and all the loved ones that he left behind, Lord God. Give us the strength to cover them like a warm blanket in the middle of the winter. Amen.